Hey you guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be another favorites video. We're entering the month of October, cannot believe this. Um, but today's video is going to be a really fun one because I have two unboxings. I want to unbox my Fat Fit Fun with you guys. I did do a little sneak peek in here. I tried out a few products, but I wanted to share with you guys what I got. And then also I have a Stitch Fix. It's been a while since I've done a Stitch Fix. So I wanted to show you those five, five items. And then also, of course, my favorites for the month. I do have one fail. Um, lots of foundation talk today. Brand new foundation release that I've been dying to talk to you guys about. Yeah, we, we'll get to this in a little bit. And then I have the new one from It Cosmetics. You guys know I'm always a big fan of It Cosmetics complexion products. So I was very intrigued by this one. This is their Your Skin But Better foundation. Lots of things to say about this one. And then the new Morphe Skin Tint. This surprised me. You guys will hear if it's in a good way or bad way, but we'll get to that. And then also some skincare, a lip product. So yeah, lots to get through, so we'll go ahead and get right into it. So first let's talk about my FabFitFun box. I love FabFitFun. I always get so excited when the box arrives at my door. So many fun surprises are always in these boxes. But I'm always, I don't know, I feel like I'm more disappointed than excited lately. But this one did have some of my most favorite products in it that I wanted to restock on. So I wanted to go ahead and pick it up. This is not a PR box. They did not send out another PR box for me. No hard feelings there. Maybe they just didn't like what I had to say about the last box. Or maybe I just didn't do well with sales for them. I don't know. But either way, it kind of gives me a nice perspective. It was nice to be able to pick my own products and to see how long the wait time actually is when you're not getting it through PR. I saw a lot of people got this in July. I just got this like two days ago. Um, and I did... I. Got all the products I wanted and that I picked, so I was happy about that. So let me show you guys what I got. So first up, this travel bottle. I love a travel water bottle. I'm always using these at work, so they always come in handy. And then this one was a surprise. A Petty in a Box Pumpkin Spice. I will definitely try this out. I think this will be fun for me and my daughter to do. She's four and she gets so excited to paint her nails and she's such a girly girl. So this will be fun um, with her. They have two little sets in here for two separate pedicures. And then I picked out these blue light glasses. I noticed I'm starting to get some more attention headaches. Especially at work, we have super bright lights there, and when we're not at a patient's bedside, we're at a computer charting at home, at night, um, either on my phone or in front of the TV right before bed, which I know is so bad. I need to get back to reading. I definitely miss reading, but these, I wanted to give these a try because I have heard good things, and like I said, the shape I thought was really cute. I did not officially test these out, but I can tell you they're super lightweight, which I always look for in glasses, and also they're really clear when you look through them, so yeah, I'm excited to try these out and then they came with this body glow I don't think I picked this out the glow milk note nurse with coconut oil I guess it's like a body highlighter I haven't really been doing any much body highlighting these days but I do like these for in the summer I usually mix it with a little like body bronzer um, for my legs in the summer so yeah maybe I'll get some use out of this we will see um, and then I picked up the Volition Celery Green Cream. I really love their SPF, so I wanted to try out their moisturizer. I did only use this one time, so I can't really fully comment, but I will tell you it felt really nice and refreshing, and I definitely got some nice moisture. It's a lightweight moisture, just so you know, so if you're on the very dry side, it might not be heavy enough for you, but if you have normal skin, it's a nice everyday moisturizer, so I will report back on this. And then this is a hair repair treatment mask. I haven't tried this, but again, I will let you guys know how this works out. I did try this out. It's a coconut oil, cuticle oil. I love a cuticle oil. My nails need all the help they can get. And this was nice and moisturizing. It wasn't too heavy. Um, and I actually applied it over nail polish and it didn't like do anything funky to the nail polish formula. It just is a nice moisturizer for your cuticle. So that was nice. And then I did get, th this is the main reason I did want to pick up the fall box because I always restock on this and it's been a while since I have had these two products in my hands. The Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. This used to be one of my go-tos when it comes to a high-end mascara. It's the one high-end mascara that I think is truly worth the money. It's so volumizing. It's so, it thickens your lashes without them being spidery. It just gives you like intense, dramatic lash volume. So I'm very excited to start using this again. And then also their Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner is amazing as well. If you can get these for a two-for-one deal, usually Ulta has those deals. It's a great buy. Um, they're really great. I'm excited to have those in my makeup vanity again. Um, and what else? Is that it? That is it. Yeah, I don't know why I felt like there was a little more in here. So, I don't know. Was I excited about this one? 
The Stila products I think is definitely worth the money. The whole box is $40 when you use a coupon code. I don't know. I think I was a little underwhelmed this time, to be honest. I There was one thing that I really wanted. It was a Kristen Cavallari, really cute, like, rose gold vases that I thought would be really nice on my countertop in the kitchen. They were sold out as soon as I could customize the box. There was another thing I really wanted. I can't even remember what it is now, but I just felt like there wasn't a lot of options by the time that customization opened. Let me know if you guys usually have that issue and if you usually get the picks that you want. Um, I was able to get everything I picked out, but I have heard that happening where they replace it with another item. So uh, I don't know. I was a little underwhelmed. I mean, 40 bucks. Uh, like a liquid highlighter I'm not gonna get too much use out of travel mug I can get one of these at TJ Maxx for like eight bucks the steel products I'm excited to have again um, and then this Volition green cream this is a nice everyday moisturizer but I'm not totally blown away so yeah I think I was a little underwhelmed this fall but I think I will continue to get um, the fat fit funds they're fun to get what can I say it's just I love getting surprises in the mail but yeah let me know what you guys have thought about fat fit fun recently have you been excited about them have you been underwhelmed I'd love to know. All right, but that's a fat fit fun. And then next up, we'll talk about the Stitch Fix box. I used to get these all the time. I just think they're so fun and convenient. Um, it's a little hard to go clothes shopping with a one and a half year old and a four year old. So I'm usually doing all the online ordering I can. Um, and I really needed some casual fall shirts. What I like about Stitch Fix is you can customize what you want. So I told them this time that I wanted all tops all long sleeves except one short sleeve and they gave me exactly what I wanted. Pretty happy with what I got. Um, I think I will return one or two things. But the first item I'm actually wearing today, it's just this casual t-shirt with a little pocket on the side. I like it because it's nice and flowy. It's actually pretty long. I'm oh, sorry, my light just went down a little bit there. Um, I like that it's pretty long. Believe it or not, this is a small and it, it's definitely oversized. I'm usually probably a medium top, so I'm definitely keeping this obviously because I'm already wearing it. <laughs> but this sweater is the one thing that I'm going to be returning. It just fits kind of funky. It doesn't lay nicely. It kind of sticks out, so it's cute, but I just don't really like the fitting with it. This top I love. This is the one that I'm going to return for a medium because I know I will wear this all the time little casual jersey tee it has a little tie at the bottom and then it also has these what would you call these almost like a slight bell sleeve it's not as apparent when I'm just holding it like this but on it has a little poof at the bottom which I think is really cute and I really like this you know heather gray pattern well it's more like a taupey color so I just think this will go with a lot of my clothing these days since I'm wearing a lot of leggings I don't know about you guys but today is actually the first time I wore jeans in the longest time putting them on was a little bit of a struggle I have to say but it felt good to actually put on jeans again and then this top I thought was really pretty really soft material um, it, it's casual but I feel like the pattern kind of dresses it up another top I could wear with leggings which is always important to me um, so that I will keep and then this duster I'm kind of undecided on this I feel like it's a little overpriced. It's $44. It's a pretty olive green duster and it does fit well. I don't know. Another thing I'd get at TJ Maxx for like 20 bucks. That's the one thing about Stitch Fix. I feel like sometimes the prices are a little higher, but if you get all five items, they do give you a 25% off discount. And then also the $20 that you initially pay for the Stitch Fix, you get in credit if you purchase anything. So it is nice. They do tack a lot off in your cart. Also too, if you use my link down below, I get $25 credit and then you guys get $25 credit to your cart, which is really nice. And also share your code. When you purchase your first fix, they'll give you a referral code and you can share that code with your friends and then you'll get another $25 in credit for a future fix and then your friends get $25 credit also. So really cool program they have. I do love getting them. I feel like the clothing quality is always really great. So I'm excited about these pieces. I wanted to kind of lump these in my favorites video because I don't know how to put it, do an extra video and... I mean, they're part of my favorites anyway for the month. So I hope you guys, I don't know, let me know if you guys like unboxings and if you want me to keep doing more of them. I think they're fun. I, I'm still contemplating on a BoxyCharm box. I just can't decide if I'll get a lot of use of all these like little travel size products. I feel like I have plenty of products, but I feel like it'd be fun. The product junkie in me thinks BoxyCharm or Ipsy would be a lot of fun, but let me know what you guys think. And then this next favorite, oh my gosh, this quickly became my probably my new favorite moisturizer. I just got through my Paula's Choice moisturizer. I talked about that in my last video, my skincare routine video. 
I can't get enough of this. I love this. The moisture. Uh, let me tell you what this is first. This will help you. <laughs> this is the I Unique. It's a K Beauty brand. Their Beta Glucan Daily Moisture Cream. It's this thick moisturizer, but it's not super thick and heavy and occlusive. It gives this like burst of moisture to your skin. It comes out in this like heavy, somewhat stiff cream. You think it might be, you know, a little bit too thick on your skin, but oh my gosh, it is just a burst of moisture for your skin and it's really quick absor absorbing, which is what I like, but still occlusive enough to hold in the moisture. It works well with a ton of different serums. It doesn't pill at all, which is so important to me when it comes to a moisturizer. I love that it's fast absorbing and it still is really hydrating. So I'm loving this one. Beta Glucan is actually a yeast. It's a great humectant and actually brings water into your skin and is great for moisturizing the skin. It's actually a yeast. You can find it in Cheerios but who knew that beta glucan was also good for your skin it's just a great ingredient it's huge in Korean skincare and they know what they're doing when it comes to skincare so I'm really excited about this moisturizer I definitely think this will be a repurchase and I love that you get two ounces in here this is something like 13 bucks you definitely have to take into account the shipping when it comes to yes style I know that obviously with COVID and everything everything's backed up but just as a fair warning my one order took a whole month so just to pre prepare you guys i don't want you guys to be disappointed but i'm loving that moisturizer and then i got this new becca lip balm in pr from octoly and i am loving this color the application and the moisturization i get from this i'm wearing it today and it's just this light wash of color i love the color so much because it's that perfect cool tone pink that takes the redness out of your lips and just adds a little something it feels so great going on it tastes like bubble gum really smoothing on the lips feels great it doesn't really obviously stay put for a long time um, but I just like how moisturizing it is it's in a nice packaging I just love that color I'm always a sucker for lip products like these because I'm one to reapply lipstick all throughout the day and something that moisturizes my lips and gives them a nice wash of color I am all about so very excited about this product from Becca this is in the shade swell let me show you guys what this looks like on so see, it's like a nice glossy finish, not too glossy, but just a nice little sheen to it. And I just love that cool tone pink. So I'm loving this. And then before getting to the foundation, I wanted to mention the brush that I've been loving for foundation. I'm not usually a brush kind of gal. I usually use a sponge for a foundation application, but this BK Beauty brush just makes things so effortless and easy. This feels like like a luxury experience when you're putting on foundation it's so soft so silky smooth you feel like you're getting your makeup done at some like i don't know neiman marcus counter or something they're just you can tell they're just great quality this brush is from the brick clark bundle which i think is unfortunately not available anymore but you can still get this brush individually also kate the great beauty just had a bundle with them as well but definitely check out their brushes. Great, great quality. They're definitely pricey, but I'm telling you they're worth the money. Um, this brush is just a game changer for our foundation application. I'm really excited about this one. Another favorite for the month. And then let's talk about these new foundations. The first one I cannot get enough of. It's gonna be my new Holy Grail. It already is my Holy Grail. I love it. I think I even like it better than their original CC cream. This is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Foundation Plus Skincare. This is the best coverage, the perfect amount of medium coverage that you can also build up. It definitely give, doesn't give you full, but you can see a little bit of your imperfections through the foundation, but it blends into your skin so seamlessly and it makes your skin look like your skin, which is what you want in a foundation. Never looks cakey, long wearing, but it's not terribly hard to get off. It's, it's not transfer proof. It definitely, I noticed transfer on my mask, but it wears really nicely and it's so lightweight the fact that it's liquid thin it reminds me a little bit of the og naked skin foundation really thin but the pigment is there you don't need a lot a little bit goes a long way it spreads easily it feels great on the skin cannot say enough good, good thing and the shade match was pretty spot on for me i got light warm 23 so you can see on my hand, I just blended it in here. There's a little bit of a glow, a tiny bit of a sheen. I'm not wearing it today. The one I'm wearing, we'll talk about in a second, but it just gives such a pretty finish to the skin. So natural looking and it just makes your skin look healthy and it, uh, seamless on the skin, never cakey, works well with powders. It's, it's amazing. Doesn't highlight texture, so great. Doesn't sink into pores. It sets really nicely too. I know that was everybody's big issue about the CC creams that it kind of slides around. This does not do that. I almost feel like sometimes I don't need powder with it. It sets pretty easily. So, so excited about this one. Loving this. 
And then the next foundation, this threw me for a loop in a really good way. I cannot believe it. So this is Morphe, I don't know why it's called two, but Morphe two, the Hint Hint Skin Tint. I have the shade Hint of Beige, light medium with neutral undertones. So this is supposed to be just a little hint of tint on your skin. Now let's talk first about Morphe products. I think the last product I bought from them was was the Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection. And we all know what a disaster that was. The formula just was not there. Morphe has been so, I have to say, more like, I may have had maybe 25% of their products that have been winners for me. The other 75%, the quality just was, wasn't there. So I did not have high hopes for this. I went into it a little bit apprehensive. I didn't think much of it. I kind of just threw it on one day but I was so impressed with how this wore. It gives such a beautiful dewy finish. I'm wearing it today. See, it's a little bit of a sheen, but not too much. I was pleasantly surprised by this. It's beautiful on the skin. Now the one negative with this, I do notice it doesn't really work well with powder. I always feel like, you know, because you have a little bit of that shine and I wanna just at least take down my T-zone a little bit, but when I do that, it enhances my pores. It looks like the foundation's like sitting in my pores. You know what I mean? Like you can actually see where all the foundation is sitting, but without powder, it looks beautiful on the skin. So I don't know what that's about, but if you just want a little something to your skin, something to enhance your complexion, something to make your skin look super flawless and to give a little bit of a do, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous product. I have, my may go so far as to say that I like this better than my NYX BB cream. That is one of my most favorite drugstore BB creams because of how lightweight and glowy it was. But this finish is absolutely gorgeous. It's, it's, one of my new favorites but yeah i don't know let me know what you guys think have you given up on morphe because i definitely thought i did until <laughs> i saw this product and it definitely intrigued me so i'm like all right it's 17 bucks let me give it a go i think i placed an ulta order and it was just something to get me over that 30 dollars shipping range i'm like mm, let's just let's try this out and i was very impressed by this i'm really excited it's going to be my new slap on a foundation when i'm running out the door situation it's really great i am really liking this and then unfortunately the last fail for the month i was i wanted to love this so bad but my fail for the month was the rare beauty weightless touch foundation i picked up the shade 180w this is the only thing I've tried from her line, so I, I'm dying to try everything else. I'm hearing rave reviews about the concealer, the fact that it's really moisturizing, hydrating, it gives a radiant finish. I think that'd be great on my dry skin. But the problem with this, if you have dry skin, it accentuates everything. It accentuated my pores, my texture. I have a little bit more dry areas, especially now with using a retinol. This just ugh, I brought out all the bad things in my skin and it felt tight on my skin not a fan of this all right so i figured i'd show you guys what this looked like in natural light i'm just running some errands today check out the, the foundation's only been on my face for about maybe three hours right now i had a little bit of an early start this morning um but as it dried and set you can just see all the texture on my face all right guys so here i am up close and personal you can see my pores how apparent they are the foundation looks so cakey on my face it's already starting to break up on my chin you can see some redness some blemishes i have on my chin here and my forehead especially my lines are really apparent i you can see lots of dryness some flakiness just lots of texture oh gosh yeah especially around my eyes too Ugh, my fine lines are really enhanced my skin just looks creepy and extra dry and textured uh, this is just not a flattering foundation on me unfortunately maybe if you have oily skin this would work for you but uh, man and i moisturized this morning too and it's just enhancing all my dry areas and whew, yeah just not doing good things for my skin i was really bummed because it feels so lightweight i felt like the cool thing about this the formula is really unique you almost have to paint it onto your face which I thought was kind of cool at the beginning, but then the issue with it, it's really hard to rub on. It doesn't have that emollient feel, so you can't really just rub it in easily. You really have to take care in making sure you're getting all of the sections because it's not gonna spread onto the skin, if that makes sense. So yeah, the spreadability just isn't really there. It sets a little bit too quickly and feels too tight and drying on my dry skin. So unfortunately, this was a big fail for me. Dying to try out the concealer. I'm hearing, hearing really good things about the blush as well. Let me know if you guys have tried out anything from Rare Beauty. Yeah, I don't know. I had such high hopes. The 
price tag is great. $29 for a celebrity line. I think it's pretty cool that she kept the price down and so forth. I mean, that's pretty hard to do. So I appreciated that. The packaging is really pretty. The formula is super unique and different, but it was just, like I said, too drying and enhanced all my dryness on my skin. So I was not a fan of this Rare Beauty foundation. Again, let me know if you tried anything from her line. I'd love to know. Let me know your other favorites for the month. We're getting down to the wire here. That was the last product. I'd love to hear from you guys. Any favorite skincare? You guys know I always love hearing about new skincare. Um, yeah. I'd love to know. Leave your comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.